name is Tony, and I'm your host today. Uh, we're going to be going inside. We're at the Cool Convention 2011, where it's a gathering of grade sevens and eights, um, joining together all the churches in uh, southern Ontario. How do you like convention so far? It's great. Pretty sick. Wait, let me think of a word. Cool. So, what is the number one thing you look forward to in a cool convention? Sports. Sports and the fun. Food and people. Uh, sports, liturgies. The sessions are really funny. I love the fact that you can come from like no matter what church and like still make friends, still have a great time, uh, still enjoy yourself no matter what you're doing, playing sports, having fun, chilling, singing songs, whatever you do, you'll have fun and you'll make new friends. The sports and the activities we get to do. Uh, the award ceremony. The sessions are really fun. Like. Yes. Yeah, the plays are amazing. Meeting new people, playing sports, and learning about God. Uh, sessions and meeting new people, and yeah. Well, actually, the plays they actually give you a good inspiration. Inspiration, inspiration to God. To be a better person, it makes us want to improve on being nice in our lives. Hello and welcome. My name is Evan Obandraus. I'm a servant here at the Cool Convention, and I'd like to welcome you guys all to the Cool Convention 2011. You know, it's a very great convention. It gathers the great seven and eights from all the churches around the GTA. And I know they have a great time, just as I have a great time. And uh, we'll just, we'll go talk to some people and uh, we'll get you some more information about that. So follow me. Here we have uh, Father Misail from uh, St. Mark's Coptic Orthodox Church in Scarborough. St. Mark's Church is actually the church that organizes the Cool Convention for the Great Seven and Eights. So, Abuna, how do you feel about the Cool Convention? Um, it's a great event that uh, our young people, Great Seven and Eight, they get together from different churches in the area. Uh, they enjoy, they benefit from the sessions and so on. And uh, we are blessed also by our fathers coming from different churches to bless us in different times uh, during the convention. It's a great blessing to have everybody together in this event. So I, I am really blessed with that. Yeah. Okay. And uh, considering you're the priest that's kind of behind the scenes, you know, you, you take care of things going on at St. Mark's, make sure everything's ship shape for this. What do you feel are the difficulties or any of the challenges that there are in, you know, for serving these kids? Um, serving the kids themselves, uh, we feel that they are quite cooperative and uh, this is a great blessing. So the time of the event of the convention goes very smooth because of the great participation of the children. They obey the rules and so on and I'm really saying it, even the youth that cater for them and serve them. Uh, in the preparation for the sessions, it's just to uh, prepare for the idea to to, to brainstorm ourselves so that we have the idea ready and prepared and also we don't have uh, uh, any overlapping decisions and so on and make sure that the scripts are written uh, uh, properly and so on. All this takes lots of work and uh, it takes months and months for the youth to prepare. So we thank them but at the end uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's rewarding, it's, it's very rewarding result. Definitely. Okay, and just last question. For those, those viewers that we have that aren't here and, you know, that are in the Toronto area, some of the grade 7 and 8 kids, or even for the younger kids that would like to come next year, would you like anything to say to them? He or she are most welcomed. We'll take care of you, make sure that everything goes well in the convention. So, see you next year, God willing. Okay, so, here we have Uncle Adel Rafael. This is the big boss, the head of security. He's the man behind the scenes. You are, you definitely are. He's the man that, you know, from organizing, from preparation, all the way back in St. Mark's, he's the one that oversees everything. So, Uncle Adel, we had a few questions for you. What are the difficulties in your job? What do you feel is, like, tough for you to do? Um, I don't have any difficulties in this job. Uh, it's, uh, it's such a wonderful event. We get all the kids together from all, uh, from all over the churches. Um, everything is very go, like going very smoothly and very nice. Like I don't, I don't really see any problem or difficulties planning for this event. Okay, so overall, planning's done. Yeah. Everything. How do you feel of the outcome when we come here? How do you feel about everybody, the kids? Do you think they enjoy it? What do you think? It is a spiritual event, and um, 
having Abuna with us here, Abuna, Abuna Misael, every year with us, uh, we pray the Divine Liturgy every single morning. And um, I think this is a blessing, and that's what makes the convention so spiritual. And this is the main goal of this convention, is not only to get the social gathering, but to send every kid from here, learn something, uh, you know, a step closer to God. That's our whole goal here. Okay, so do you think that once these kids are sent back going home, do you think that they'll come back next year or even suggest it to their friends that are younger than them? And what would you suggest to the kids, the viewers that aren't even here this year? Well, I would, before I suggest to the kids, I would like to suggest to the parents to follow up on the message we sent them today or this convention. Like if they ask them, what did you learn? Which book in the Bible did you study? What was the message of the convention? And if they can build on it, like for this year, for instance, the message is from the book of Revelation. If they can read the book with them, we, we focus on five messages in the book of Revelation to five churches. If they ask the kids, they will tell them this, the churches. And they can, if the parents can read the Bible with them, build on this message, that will be a great achievement. And if the kids are happy here, they will talk to their friends, of course. They will tell them, oh, we had a wonderful time, and they will encourage others to come. So you guys just met Uncle Adil. This is Tant Nagwa, uh, his wife. She's also, you know, the lady behind the scenes. She's uh, one of the, the head of servants. So Tant Nagwa, how do you feel about the convention preparation? I love the cool convention. I'm going to finish tomorrow. Then I will start preparing for next year, if God's will. So you guys start preparing even a year in advance. That's, that's that big. Start from after tomorrow. Wow, that's incredible. So how do you feel about all the work that's put in? Do you feel that with all this work, it's a success? And, you know, do you guys meet your expectations every year? It's just the blessing of the Holy Liturgy for three days. Every day we have to do a Holy Liturgy in the morning. That's the blessing of the liturgies. Okay, that's great. So, Tant Nagwa, how do you feel the kids feel about the cool convention? Do you think they enjoy it? They love it. They love it. Every day we have more kids and more kids. They really love it. So here we have Miriam Bisada. She's Hi. one of the servants uh, from the cool convention. So I was wondering, Miriam Bisada, what do you think of the cool convention? I love the cool convention. It really brings everyone together. It's always really fun. Well, that's great. So what do you think? Do you think you fulfill your job as a servant? And what is your job? Could you describe to the viewers what you do? Yeah, so I'm in one of the sessions, so I'm in one of the skits, and um, I'm singing, so I'm sort of emceeing, and I'm in charge of the shirts. <laughs> okay, could you explain to our viewers what these sessions are? These sessions. So the sessions are, um, um, well, so we have a theme, we have an overarching theme, and then the sessions are like sub-themes. So we start off with a skit, and then we do a lesson, and then we do a workshop. So it's like an hour and a half. It's fun. It's very fun. There's five. An hour and a half. So do you think these kids get bored in that hour and a half? That seems like a big no. long. No, because the workshops are really um, involving and they're really fun. Our workshop is, you know, really fun. We get them to act. We get them to do origami. So it's, yeah. So they don't have to sit down the whole time. Okay, so that's good. So an hour and a half of spiritual growth, but in the same time they're having fun. They're not being bored. That's what Cool Convention's all about. Johnny Ibrahim, you might have seen him before, you might not have. He's a pretty famous person here in Toronto. So, Johnny, what do you think of the Cool Convention this year? Great success. Just great success. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun, a lot of kids, good times. Bringing the churches together, yeah, it's good. Do you think the kids enjoy it as much as you do? I, I, I think I enjoy it more, actually, than the kids. Marcus Kander is one of the servants from St. Mark's. He's one of the servants that takes part in the sessions. But also, on the downside, Mark has a very secretive job that not many people know about. Mark, can you please tell us more about this job? Well, if anyone has heard about the pranks video, the most famous thing at the cool convention, uh, we'll just make some people look pretty silly, I guess. Okay, so by pranks, you, you're saying you go up to any kid, any servant, and you just do a prank on them. We got cameras everywhere, very well hidden. Uh, let's just say we pick our spots, and if you walk by a certain area and you get pranked, you'll see yourself at the end of the convention. Mark, if this pranks video wasn't in, do you still think the cool convention would be what it is? The cool convention is one of the best trips out there. Uh, the kids come here, they learn all about through the plays, 
through the uh, through just meeting and, and uh, with all the youth and the the servants and the priests, they get a lot out of it. So the pranks is just a plus. Mr. Akram Sharkawi, that's, that's right. Correct. That, that's correct. Okay, and he's one of the servants for the other churches, so he's taking care of kids. And uh, how do you feel that is? Do you think the kids give you a hard time in the rooms at night? <laughs> I select I select my kids um, according to my preference. So they're, they're, the kids are all right. They're not too bad. Okay, not too bad. Do they have fun? Awesome time. I mean, there was one of the coolest servants ever, so the greatest time. If you ask any of them, we should interview my kids. I'll find them for you and we'll interview them. <laughs> okay. Someone has a big head. We might... Uh... My kids have big heads, yes. That is oh, correct. okay. Yeah, yeah. That's exactly what I was referring that's right, to. That's right. So, Akram, as a servant and seeing the kids every day, do you feel that they enjoy their time here in the convention, even in the sessions, even if they take a long time? Um... They have, a, they have a wonderful time here. St. Mark's puts on a great show, a great um, convention every single year. The, the sessions are phenomenal. They're very, um, they're very entertaining, but at the same time, there's a spiritual meaning to it. God bless them. God bless the service. God bless all the priests that are putting all their effort into this. They do a great job every year, and we look forward to it every single, every single summer. Wow, that's great. So overall, you think this is a success, and you'd encourage everybody to come if they get the chance. I mean, I haven't watched this play yet, but so far, so good, yes. Okay, okay, be quiet. I really think someone's coming now. Oh, please, I hope you're not giving me 
Ben, what brings you here? You know, actually, PM, before we get started, I'm going to call you PM. I hope you don't mind. All right, PM. Anyways, I like you, PM. I like you a lot. You're the best we've seen in a really long time. Did you know that? Yeah. Because I always say, it's not about the man's uniform and uh, him looking big and strong. Because behind the uniform is the man. Yes. And behind the man are his insides. Yes. And behind his insides is his... Okay, you have a good nucleus, a great nucleus. Can we move on now? What's up? So I kind of got a problem. Cut to the chase, butterfly man. All right, all right, all right. You know, you know that uh, that thing with malicious Tom and how he kidnapped a famous scientist. What about it? We all know that Tom is a very big liability to the city. Well, it could have been him that same night that it was said that he kidnapped the famous scientist. I found him stealing a box of, a box of ketchup out of town. Your sound in my office, Wilbur. I'll look into it, sir. Look into it now. Someone must have kept their phone on. We have ghosts in here. I don't know. Wilbur, why is there dirt on my floor? Why? The cleaning lady must not clean. We'll clean it up now. And while you're at it, get Butterfly Man on the phone.
about our plans for tonight, okay? Because you can ruin our entire operation, you and your big mouth. Sir. What? You think I'm not stupid? Of course I'm not going to see you. Here, I'll answer that question. I dropped something. Sometimes. <laughs> yeah, you can have lunch sometimes. 